In addition to being a successful businessman, Chris Haynes also served as vice president of a supermarket chain. After leaving his office, his favorite French bistro was the first place he went after leaving work. When he arrived, he knew the staff would go above and beyond to impress him. As a result, he left a very generous tip. He had hoped for a pleasant evening, but that was not going to happen. His favorite restaurant was known for its great service, and he knew he'd receive it there as well. The moment he walked through the door, he felt as if an unseen red carpet had been rolled out for him. It was what he expected. Just eating there every single day cost him a lot of money. People like him expect five-star treatment, so he wanted to receive it. Chris noticed something unusual one evening as he sat at his favorite table. Because he spent so much money there, Chris felt like it was his restaurant most of the time. His sense of power gave him the freedom to order and request whatever he wanted. He was a generous tipper, and for them, extra cash was always welcome, so most waiters and waitresses tolerated his entitled behavior. This was known to Chris Haynes. As a result, he often berated the employees and reminded them how much money he paid them. Waiters and waitresses were always at Chris's disposal. It is not uncommon for him to enter restaurants with a string of associates and executives if he isn't dining alone. In addition to Chris, his friends were equally obnoxious, and now the staff had to deal with both of them. They revealed their obvious need to boast about their wealth as they opened bottle after bottle of only the best French champagne. Talia, one of these waiters, hated Chris Haynes and hated it when he asked her to serve him. Every time they spoke about her, she felt her skin crawl. Nevertheless, Chris walked in one evening at the restaurant's busiest time and insisted that the staff treat him especially well that evening because he had a long day at work. As Talia rolled her eyes, she sighed. What he doesn't realize is how hard work truly is. Upon receiving his order, she served him a glass of French champagne. A moment later, he looked to his right and stopped in his tracks. She could see him muttering under his breath and looking disgustedly at some patrons. Mr. Haynes, is there a problem? Talia asked. His eyes rolled as he looked at her. There is a problem, yes. Until now, I was unaware that the standards of this restaurant had fallen so dramatically. What has happened to the world? He muttered. Talia was puzzled by her remark. I apologize, Mr. Haynes. I don't understand, she said. Talia could see his frustrated expression as he answered her question. I was wondering when this exclusive restaurant began admitting peasants? Can you tell me who these people are? He almost screamed. These people don't belong here. However, it was too late. The purpose of his remarks was to be heard. All of what he said was heard by the family, seated within earshot. Their ears perked up when he mentioned them. There was a sinking feeling in Talia's heart. Their looks of dejection and disappointment were obvious to her. No one should feel less than who they are. She walked away from the rich man's table without saying a word. But as she walked, she heard him shout out, Where do you think you're going? I haven't even placed my order yet. Is the service going down the toilet as well? He said, shaking his head. Talia felt her blood begin to boil. She was never going to serve that man ever again. She didn't care about his generous tips anymore. She hated how he treated people. It wasn't long before the manager angrily approached Talia. What have you done? You don't want to anger that man. He is our best customer. Now get back out there and serve him. The manager demanded. But Talia was not having it. I won't do it. I don't like what he said to that poor family. He has no right to do that to people. I'm tired of us just turning a blind eye to his blatantly disrespectful behavior. Talia watched as the family tried to continue their meal, but they were clearly shaken by what Chris had said to them. But the restaurant and its patrons were not ready for what would happen next. Chris stood up from his seat, went over to the family, and continued to openly berate them. Do us all a favor and leave the restaurant. Can you even afford the food here? The family, which consisted of a husband, his wife, and two children, looked on in complete shock. They couldn't believe that someone would have the audacity to do that to other human beings. They seemed to shrivel down in embarrassment, but not before the husband said something. 
This was supposed to be a great day. We're celebrating because I got a promotion. Why are you ruining our night? Does it make you feel better about yourself? With that statement, Chris almost exploded into flames. How dare you even talk to me? You aren't fit to even look in my direction. I will have you removed from here, he yelled. But the husband wasn't backing down. He stood his ground. He felt like he wanted to protect his family against this unreasonable man. Talia watched as the man started defending his family. She got a feeling of satisfaction in her stomach. Finally, someone was standing up to the mighty Chris Haynes. At the end of it all, both men sat down, and the family decided to just continue celebrating. Chris sat looking even more disgusted. Talia had a feeling that he was not going to let it go. She decided to do something unexpected. She took the family a bottle of champagne. Compliments of the restaurant. Congratulations on your promotion. She made sure that Chris heard her. The family looked very grateful for her kind gesture. She looked at Chris and saw the disdain in his eyes. She could see that he hated that Talia had chosen the family over him. But before Talia could walk back to the kitchen, the husband slipped her a note. She didn't know what it said, but she supposed it was a thank you note for the champagne she had given to them. But when she unfolded the note, she couldn't believe her eyes. In all of her years working in this exclusive restaurant, she had never seen anything quite like this. She looked back at him in acknowledgement. She couldn't wait for what she was about to do next. But she didn't know how he would react. She saw the family get up and leave. The manager had decided that their meal would be on the house to make up for the harassment they endured from Chris. But the worst was yet to come. As soon as the wealthy man got up to leave, Talia handed him the note without saying a word. He looked at her in confusion. But then he smiled. He had always hoped that the pretty waitress would one day come around and hand her number to him. This was his lucky day. Or so he thought. He flashed her a smile and walked out of the restaurant. But not everything was what it seemed. In the comfort of his limousine, he unfolded the note. His eyes widened in shock. He clutched his chest as he felt the weight of his heavy heart. The note read, Dear Mr. Haynes, I once admired you, but after tonight you have lost my respect. I was celebrating a promotion from working in one of your supermarkets. I worked really hard to finally become store manager. Tonight, I just wanted to celebrate with my family, and they wanted to show me how proud I had made them. Maybe you should take a lesson in humility. There are a lot of people who look up to you. A change in attitude would do you well. Sincerely, Jason Wells. Chris Haynes sat in the back of his limousine, staring at the note in disbelief. He never expected such a message, especially from someone he considered beneath him. The words hit him like a ton of bricks, and for the first time in a long while, he felt a pang of guilt and self-reflection. He felt so embarrassed for what he did, and he knew that he needed to make it up to Jason and his family and the staff of the restaurant. As the limousine drove through the city streets, Chris couldn't shake off the feeling of shame that had settled deep within him. He had always prided himself on his success and wealth, believing it entitled him to treat others as he saw fit. But tonight, a simple note from a stranger had exposed the hollowness of his values. Days passed, and Chris couldn't get Jason Wells' words out of his mind. He found himself replaying the scene at the restaurant over and over again, haunted by his own arrogance. He realized that the family he had berated had something he lacked. Humility, love, and a sense of accomplishment through hard work. He only felt shame. One morning, Chris decided to do something he had never done before. He went to visit one of the supermarkets from his chain unannounced. As he walked through the store, he observed the employees, the very people who worked tirelessly to make his wealth possible. He saw their dedication and the pride they took in their work. Approaching the store manager's office, he knocked softly and was greeted by a friendly voice. It was Jason Wells, the man who had left him that impactful note. Chris took a deep breath and entered, ready to make amends. Mr. Wells, I'm Chris Haynes, the vice president of the supermarket chain. Chris began, feeling a bit nervous. I wanted to apologize for my behavior at the restaurant. I was completely out of line, 
and your note made me realize how wrong I was. Jason looked surprised but then nodded. I appreciate your honesty, Mr. Haynes. It takes a big person to admit when they're wrong. Chris continued, I also wanted to say congratulations on your promotion. Your dedication to your work is commendable, and you deserve all the success that comes your way. Over time, Chris began to change. He started treating people with kindness and respect, regardless of their social status. He learned the value of humility and how it could bring genuine happiness and fulfillment. He also made it a point to support and encourage employees within his supermarket chain, recognizing their hard work and contributions. As the months passed, news of Chris Haynes' transformation began to spread throughout the company. He went from being a feared and disliked figure to someone admired for his humility and genuine concern for others. His relationships with both employees and customers improved, and his company flourished as a result. For him, it was better to treat people with respect. He visited his favorite restaurant again, having stayed away for some time, too embarrassed to face the staff. He needed to make up for his bad behavior. He called them all aside and apologized for his unruly behavior. He then gave them all something for their trouble for having put up with him. He pulled Talia aside, apologized, and praised her for the kindness she showed towards the family. In the end, Chris realized that true success was not measured by wealth alone but by the positive impact one could have on the lives of others. And it all started with a simple note from a man named Jason Wells, who had shown him the power of humility and the importance of treating everyone with dignity and respect.